All right, awesome. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, or perhaps good morning, wherever you are in this world. And uh, we're in another edition of Katsu at Home, brought to you by uh, John Doolittle and Laurel Cousins. Go ahead. John, did you want to mention anything? Hey guys, this is John. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta mention this weekend. This has been a crazy weekend. Um, <laughs> God, the busiest weekend in the history of uh, Katsu, I think. So um, if you haven't gone to Ben Greenfield's uh, website and listened to this podcast with Stephen and I, um, I think I think it turned out pretty pretty darn good. So if you got some time, go ahead and do that. Um, if not, no worries. So we going to go ahead and start like always, uh, before I hand it over to Laurel, I'm just going to demonstrate putting on one armband there, everybody all the way up to the armpit. Give it a nice tight, well, not too tight, right? I'm sticking my thumb under the band there. I can get my thumb under there. It's snug, but I can get it under there. All right. So that's the goal. Just have them on there pretty tight, not too crazy, pretty snug. And uh, yeah, I, Laurel, I'm just going to hand it over to you. Um, the main thing I wanted to put out was uh, Ben Greenfield's podcast is, is out. So um, go ahead. Let's get some. Awesome. So we've got everyone on Instagram. We've got Zoom. Bands are on, water is had. So I wanted to make a note about the workout for today. Um, for those who joined last Monday, this workout's gonna be familiar because we're doing a very similar variation of that. And it's on purpose. So our bodies grow stronger when we force them to adapt to new and different types of exercise. And we've been doing a whole lot of adapting over the last couple of weeks, uh, not only using the bands, but also doing different types of work. Now, today we get to take all of that work we've been putting in and kind of refine it. So you might find some of the moves familiar, which is what we want, because that enables us to work a little bit faster, maybe a little bit harder because our brain understands what's going on. So if you're new to all this, welcome, jump on in, you'll do great. And if you've been coming, take that repetition, that familiarity and dive in, work through it and let it work with you. Um, and as always, make sure to listen to your body. It knows best no pushing beyond the point of reasonable pain and take breaks as much as you need to. We'll have modifications for every exercise we do. So let's get started. Um, after a weekend, especially if we've been inside or not moving as much as usual, we want to start to release the neck. So it's a crucial part where we start to hunch and do this. And so releasing the shoulders and the neck can feel really good to start a workout. So we've done some of these in previous workouts. They're called CARS controlled articular rotation. And you can either start standing or sitting, whatever feels best. We're gonna take a couple controlled articulation circles together. So start by tucking your chin into your chest. Let the shoulders relax away from your ears. And then start to drop your chin, take your gaze over your right shoulder. So tucking your chin into your right shoulder. And imagine you're dropping your right ear towards your back rotate around and as you do this drop your chin into your left shoulder and then bring your chin back to the center so let's take another one of those chin into right shoulder drop the ear towards the back work through that range of motion all the way around chin into left shoulder and then come back through center give the shoulders a roll and let's move the other way so drop the shoulders again away from the ears you can even lengthen through the fingertips to pull the arms down We'll take chin into chest, drop the chin over the left shoulder, pull your ear back, work through that range, chin over to right shoulder, and back through center. One more, nice and slow, work through it, chin into left shoulder, drop the ear to your back, work around and through, chin into left shoulder, sorry, right shoulder and back through center and then come on up give the shoulders a roll and we're going to start on our hands and knees today so come on down we're going to open up the spine a little bit we have a number of spine specific exercises today so go ahead and make your way onto your hands and knees tabletop position i'm stacking my joints shoulders over wrists hips over knees and we're going to take what in yoga is called cat cow 
So start to drop your belly down towards the floor. Lift your tailbone and your chest up. Think about, this is called spinal extension. And then start to pull your navel into your spine, round the back out. This is spinal flexion. So go ahead and drop the belly. Imagine you're pulling your chest through your arms. Lift your tailbone up. Big back bend. And then opposite direction, round the spine out. And let's take a couple more rounds and add a breath to it. So as you inhale, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, round the spine. This is our cat position. And one more. Inhale, find that lift. And exhale, round out. And then we'll meet with a nice flat back. Go ahead and take your left hand behind your head. Again. So we move the spine from flexion to extension. Now we're going to rotate the spine side to side. So start to drop left elbow to right elbow underneath the body. And then lift that left elbow up as high as you can work towards stacking the shoulders. Drop elbow to elbow, rotate under the body. And then lift it up as high as you can, pressing into that right arm for strength. We'll take a few more, say two. Keep that right arm strong and steady the whole time. And on this next one, we're gonna lift the left elbow up and hold it for a count of eight. So squeezing out as much range of motion as we can for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let's switch sides. Drop the left hand down, right hand comes behind the head. We wrap elbow to elbow, and this time we open up to the right. Drop it down and open it up let's take three more this time the left arm is strong left two and final one we're gonna lift and hold it so lift that right elbow up work towards stacking the shoulders maybe look up over your top elbow we have seven six five four three two and rest now come on up to sit any seated position that's comfortable for you i'm going to be on my knees just so i can see everyone so feel free to sit on your butt give the wrist a roll release them and then working into our forearms smaller muscles to bigger muscles of the arms we're going to pull the elbows in towards the midline of the body make fists for upward wrist curls now i want you to find your thumbs tuck them in grab them and really squeeze your thumbs Imagine that you're holding a set of weights. That's what your thumbs are gonna do. So first 30 seconds, elbows in, we just go up, down, up, down. And try not to let the rest of your elbows move. I'm gonna start my timer, just like so I can time us. We've got two 30 seconds, up, up, down, up, down. Good, and the more you squeeze, the more you can work into it. Awesome, Love dead. And making sure the elbows aren't flaring out to the side. Keep pulling them in. And then five, we're going to release. Give the wrist a shake. We have four, three, two, and one. Shake the wrist out. Give the fingers a wiggle. This next set, we're going to go really fast. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So this time, tuck your fingers into the hand. Grip your fingers with your thumbs. Just noticing if there's any difference. And second set, we're going fast. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Squeeze like heck. Keep pulling the elbows in, make those movements really meaningful. We should already be starting to feel it in our forearms, maybe looking down and see the veins working. Half done. All right, squeeze even harder. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yes, last eight. Good, we're gonna give the wrist a roll in five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, cool. Moving into the triceps, smaller muscles. Familiar move, it is called a crab toe touch. So we're working not only the backs of the arms, the triceps, but also the shoulders to keep our body up. So option number one, your butt's on the floor, you're pressing your chest up. My fingers are pointing back towards my heels and I tap, switch, pressing the whole time. If you want a harder variation, get your butt off the floor, tap, and switch keep those arms active the whole time tap and switch so whatever one works better for you today root your wrist underneath your shoulders press yourself up 
first 30 seconds, crab toe touches, tap and tap. And for this one, we wanna go on the slower side, really making sure that the arms are active, getting used to the balance of being on one foot, especially if your butt's off the floor. And tap, and tap. Nice job, let's we'll check in and see how everyone's doing. Keep pressing your butt up, maybe engage the glutes a little bit, might as well kick that in. Awesome, Diane, nice Justin, good. Last 10. In five, we're gonna drop down, we have four. Three, two, shake the wrist out. Tricep stretch, right arm across the body. And release, left arm across the body. And release, all right, set yourself up. Second 30 seconds, this time, see if you can go fast. Tap, 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 without toppling over. And we are going. If you want even more of a challenge, Straight legs, woo, <laughs> tap, tap, it's hard. Yeah, I like it, I see a lot of butts off the ground, no matter where you're at, make it a good one. Press the floor away from you, maybe even spread the fingers wider so you have more space to push the floor, activating those muscles, last five. Nice guys, four, three, two, and rest, move it around. All right, next up, we have forearm plank punch. Everyone drop into your forearm plank. We extend, reach and reach, reach and reach. Now, if this isn't working, you can drop your knees and do the exact same thing with your knees on the floor. So we wanna try and get our arms in line with our ears to get the shoulder mobility engaged as well. Now, the first one, we're gonna go in slow motion. Reach all the way out, drop it down and switch. Drop it down. First 30 seconds for moving. I don't want to see your hips wiggling. So make sure that you're moving slow enough that you can use your core to keep your body stable and the arm is the only thing moving. And with the arm moves, really lengthen it out. Take the bend out of the elbow. Cool, half done. Reach and reach. We have 10 more seconds out and out, and you can step the feet as wide as you want. Little plank trip, the wider you step, the easier it is. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees, take a breath. Now the second set, we're gonna go fast, but I want you to think more about grabbing something and pulling it in than punching. So I pull, 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 okay? Second 30 seconds, set yourself up, let's go. Pull, 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 pull. My body does not move. Only my arms are doing the work. Let's see what we got. Nice, Jeff. Go, Liam. Awesome, Lily, Ethan. We got a good crew today. Chris, what you doing? <laughs> Last 10. I'm late. <laughs> Set up. I'll be right there. Just hanging out. <laughs> we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone. Drop your knees, pull your butt back to your heels, walking the arms forward for a child pose reset. Let your head hang. It can rest on the floor or towards the floor. Give your head a shake. No. And then go ahead and shift your weight forward again. This is our last move for our upper body. So let's make it a good one. It is a plank to floor spine extension. So we start in plank, we drop our chest all the way to the floor, take a lift, root the hands into the mat, press right back up into plank. Now my hips don't sag, so your body has to be flat the whole way down, lift, press, right back up, okay? Same thing can be done on the knees. We come all the way down, hands behind the head, lift, press right back up into plank. Two sets, 30 seconds each. Let's set ourselves up in plank and we go. So we come down nice and slowly, nice flat back, hands behind the head. Lift the chest and the legs and press right back up with the flat body. Let's see. Good. And as you lift your legs, I also want you to engage your glutes to protect your low. The same thing we did in our cat cow with that spinal extension. Think back arch. Five more seconds. See if you can do one more. 
Good. We have four. Nice and slow on that push up. Three, two, and one. Everyone come up. Good job. Good job. Let's give the chest a stretch. Clasp the hands. Pull the backs of the shoulders together. Open up across the chest. Now, if you can, punch your fist down towards the floor and start to lift your arms up and off the back of the body. Make sure you're not rounding out. Pull them back, shrug them back. All right, hands to mat. Second set, see if you can go in slow motion. Four, three, two. Lift, press back up. Four, three, two. Really work the muscles of the chest. Let's go. And I'm going to be calling, folks, if I see sagging hips. Woo! Awesome. Yes, as you come down, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Nice. Good job, Ethan. All right, Kayleen, half done. Good. See if you can do two more. Last 10 seconds. We have six. Three, two, and rest. Roll up. We always do at least one round of heart rate boost with our arm band. Let's hop up and get ready to get our heart rate up. So our three heart rate moves for the day are scissor punch jack. Punch, 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 punch. You can also Back, my way to keep on the board. Light on the joint. Woo! There we go, last 10. If you want to pick up the pace, now is the time to do it. Go, go, go. We have six, five, four, three. Two, and rest. Step the feet wide, squat and reach. Down, up, down, up. We're moving. You get to pick your pace, pressing your butt back, opening up your hips, arms stay straight and strong. Down, up, down, up. And if you need to jump at the top, don't let me stop you. I'm not doing it. Up, down, and up. Last 10. Then we have high leg oblique kicks. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand behind the head and kick, kick, kick. 15 seconds per side. Up, up. Try and find contact. Maybe out of the bounce. <laughs> All right, good work, guys. I see legs flying. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at her go, good, switch sides. Right hand behind, up, 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 up. Try and keep your arm stable. Bring your leg to your arm. We have eight, seven, six, five, all the way, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it all out. Grab your water, let's swap out our bands. All right. It's funny, if people um, watch this online, they have no idea how hard it is with the cuts of ends on. No, no. I had no idea the first time that I worked out with you guys. I tried it just without the band. I was like, okay, this is fine, no problem. <laughs> and then the first time I, I did it with the band, I was like, whoa! <laughs> Laurel, I especially work. I won't mention any names, Chris, but that's beautiful. Good job. <laughs> if I and on that note, if I call you out, it means I it means I like you. It means I care enough to call you out. <laughs> especially living with those high kicks. I, that that made my day, girl. That was incredible. <laughs> All right, banding up. Coming down to sit if you're not already there, letting the muscles relax completely so we can fully tighten our bands. One finger rules apply, but it's 
very hard to put the bands on too tight. So give them a little extra stint if you've got it in you. And then let's sit ourselves up for, hook it up, start your cycle here if you're not already pumping. John, does that mean I can call you out more? <laughs> yes. So, oh, glass, yelling at John. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my bands actually aren't high enough. So notice if your bands are down your leg at all, put them up even higher all the way into the leg crease at the very top of your leg, and then angle the outer edge up towards your hip. All right, now we're in business. Okay, so let's start with some stretching. So come into that same wide-legged stance as our, uh, our squat and reach, and just come down into it. Take your hands to your thighs, and all right now come back through center drop your right shoulder down and use that hand to press the right leg open open up that hip and the more you can kind of lean into it the more you can press the leg open which is exactly what we want and switch sides press the left knee open open up that hip And let's come back up through center. And just give the hips a circle round and round. And the other way. And while we're standing, let's take one more stretch here. Take a forward fold, let your hands fall between your legs. And if you can, rotate your fingers towards the back of your workspace and start to walk your arms through your legs. I don't care if it's a millimeter or five inches. Give me what you got. Walk your hands through your legs. Shake your head. Yes. Uh-huh. We're ready for leg band. And then imagine you're pulling your floor space, your mat, in opposite directions with your feet to get a little deeper stretch. And then go ahead and walk the hands back through the legs. Come on up to stand for heel raises. So three-part heel raise. Feet are parallel, we lift, angle the toes out a little bit, lift, angle the toes out a lot, lift. And if we have any past dancers, see if you can come into full open position, okay? So we lift, lift, and lift. First 30 seconds, let's go. Up, up, and up, good. All right. Good. And last 10. We're going to work into it at the top. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone rotate your feet out as much as you can. Pick your heels off the mat, little pulses up and up. Lift, lift. Think about lengthening from the inner thigh. Up, up, up. We have five, four, three, two, and drop them down. Second 30 seconds. One, two, three, we're moving. One, two, three. All right, keep going. Cool. Nice work, everybody. Looks good. Half done. If you want more of a challenge, take your arms straight above your head. Add that little element of instability in there. Awesome, Justin. Nice, Jessica. Good. I love the different parts of your guys' bodies that I see as we're doing this. Sometimes it's just a leg flying. Sometimes it's kneecaps going up and down. Looks good. All right. Four, three, two. Feet are parallel. Pick those heels up. Little lift. Up and up. There we go. Eight. Seven, six, don't let them touch the ground. Five, four, three, two, lift and hold. Lower your heels down for a count of five, four, three, two, rest. Heart is things up and going. Punch, jack, go. Nice. 
Now we wanna be engaging our core the entire time we do these to protect our back. Keep moving, half done. Yes, Chris. All right, Gabe. Good John. everybody's moving. Carrie's flying. <laughs> Good. Cassiopeia, yes. We're going into squat and reach in four, three, two. Step those legs wide. We go down, up, down, up. Option to jump if you need to today. It's more of a need to than a want to. If you want to, you can too. Up, down, up. Keep it going. Good. Keep your hips back. Weight is always in the heels. Don't let your heels lift off the floor at any point in time. Last 10 seconds. Down, up, down, up. Straight arms the whole time. We're making snow angels. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand behind the head. Get that right leg up. Up. Maybe you can even keep your left heel on the floor the whole time. Up, up, and up. No matter where you are, keep that right arm straight and stable. Don't let it move. Use your obliques for control. 10 more seconds. Give me speed. Up, up, up. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch sides. We're doing a full 30 on each side for this one. Woo! Yes. Arms stay strong. Keep those kicks, even if they're small, getting that foot off the ground no matter where you are. Last 10, up, up, make it fast. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. My goodness, all right. Right into our next exercise. Curtsy lunges, my hands are on my hips. I step my left foot back. I drop my back knee down. I step up, drop it back, step up. The modification for this is just don't step back as far. Little step back, down and up. If you can, go big, get that back knee down, come back up. First 30 seconds, left leg is working. Down, up, down, and up. I don't care if your knee actually touches the floor, but think about working into that. Fantastic. Yes. Woo. And for those who aren't on video, keep going. Awesome, guys. Now, as you do this, I want you to think about squeezing your hips so that the right knee doesn't splay open to the side. We have four. Three, two, come on up. Shake that left leg out. Right into the other side. This time, right leg is grooving. We go down, up, down, and up. The pace is totally up to you. That's why we go for time, number of reps in our workout, because it's not up to me what's right for your body and how many reps you do. If you want to take it really slow, work into it. Maybe you want to keep your heart rate up and go fast. Figure out that right pace for you as long as you're moving. Last 10. We're going to come up and take a sip of water in five, four, three, two. Grab your water. We didn't take a water break after our last cardio bout. Let's take a quick sip. Cheers, everyone together. Hopefully we're starting to feel a little sweaty. Bodies are moving. We're rehydrating for a bit. We have a second set of curtsy lunges. Take a gander while you drink your water. So you can do the same thing as the first round where you step back and up, or you can step back, hold it, static position, down, up, down, up. And the one thing I want everyone to be mindful of, see this front knee, I don't wanna let it get sloppy. Keep pulling it in line with the ankle as best you can. Down, up, down, up. So find your position, working with the left leg. Step it back, either hold it or back and forth, 30 seconds, go. If you need more balance work, arms straight up. Squeeze your hips and your butt like head. Get that back knee down and towards the floor. Awesome job. Nice, Gabe. Good. Oh, we got it. 
Everyone is so stable. It's great. Good. Keep your chest up, guys. Last five, four. We're going to hold the bottom three, two. Everyone step back and hold it. Drop your back knee down towards the floor and hold 10 seconds. Squeeze your hips, your glutes. Drop it even lower. Embrace that shakiness if you're feeling it for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Step it up right into the other side. You can step back and up, or you can do static holds down, up, down, up. This time, checking your left knee. Is the alignment good or are we getting sloppy? Nice. Working those hamstrings, working those hips. Down, up. Fine to have the arms straight for the extra balance. No wobbling of the upper body. Everyone looked so great on the first set. Let's not crash now. We have 10 more seconds, then we're gonna work into it. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two. Drop your back knee, hold, get low. Even, try not to let it touch the floor. Find that edge for seven, six. Pull the front knee in, four, three, two, and one. Really shake it out. All right, all right. Let's get our heart rate up again. We're not doing our heart rate boost. We're doing a different exercise. Jump, slam, pass, burpee. One variation of this. I'm in my plank pose. I step up, step up, reach up, slam, step back, step back. I'd like to see, ideally, a jump at the top. Oh, slam, back, back. If you want to go traditional jerp, jerpy, a jump and a burpee, we hop. Up, slam, hop back, hop up, jump up, slam. My arms go all the way up and I jump back into it. First set, 30 seconds, make your way into plank, let's go. Keep those arms active, use that reach. Nice, Ethan, light on the toes, I see everybody flying. Whatever variation you do, see if you can get that jump in at the top, even if it's small, last 10. Let's do two more. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone on your knees, drop your hands, circle the hips around. Groove around the other way. And start to make your way back into plank. We'll take a water rest after this. Step back into plank. Second set, go. Up, down, hop back. Yes. It's Monday. We're starting with a bang. If you're stepping instead of hopping up, try and step your feet as high up towards your hands as you can. Hop. Come back into squat and then step back. So whatever variation you're in, we want the feet wide because we're dropping the hips down to that squat. Last 10 seconds, two more, eight, seven, six, five, breathing four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees, catch your breath, wiggle on over to get your water, and we'll take a sip before we do our next set. Remember, reset your cycle if it's not still going. All right, next up, we're gonna do our reverse lunge twist. So, I come up to stand, I'm doing my left leg only. I step my left foot back, twist over to the left, come back through center, then step up. So it's technically two moves. The lunge and the twist are separate. I lunge, twist, center, then step back up. A modification for this is don't step back as far. Step, twist, center, step, okay? So come on up to stand, hands behind the head, feet underneath the hips, starting with the left leg. We lunge back, twist to the left, center, step up. We lunge back, twist, center, and up. Time is rolling. And we're working the mobility of our spine. The same thing we did in the beginning of class, the hand behind the head. 
Now we're just doing it in a lunge variation. Awesome. As you do it, keep pulling the left elbow back behind you. Use your core to keep stability here. 10 more seconds. Nice. If it feels shaky, that's fine. It's supposed to. Good. Let's see if we can do one more. We have five, four, three. Awesome, Lily. Two and one. Now, step your left foot back, right foot forward, and just walk your hands down your right leg for a quick hamstring stretch. All right, let's switch sides. Step the left foot up. This time we're working the right leg only, hands behind the head. I step back, twist to the right, center, and up. Back, twist, center, up. Second set, move. Good. Just as much a core exercise as anything else. Yes, these look great. And you wanna make sure that you're twisting the same direction as the leg you step back. So if you step back with your right leg, awesome correction. I saw a couple people correcting there. Cool. Nice. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Now this time, step your right foot back. Straighten out the left leg. Walk your hands down on hamstring stretch. We have one more set of these. If you'd like an extra challenge today, you're gonna step the left leg back, twist, center, hover the foot off the mat, so don't let it touch the floor. Back, twist, center, hover. And even if you take the modified version, you step back, twist, center, you can still hover, okay? Whichever one works best for you, see if you can hover that left foot at the top or maybe even come onto your big toe. Find the instability. Squeeze everything. Third set, go. Left leg, back. Twist, center, hover. This time we're pulling the left toe back behind us. Awesome work, Instagram. Keep going. Woo! I like it. <laughs> I feel We're working through it. Good job. And then even left leg up through center. We have four, three, two. Pick it up, hold it. 10 seconds of balance. Now let's get creative. See if you can kick that left leg straight. See if you can bring it out to the left. See if you can bring it back through center. Bend the knee into the chest. Little pulses up and up. Use your core. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rest. Second side, hands behind the head. Right leg. Step it back, twist, center, hover. Last ones, we're gonna take the balance of the top. Go. And my secret for balance here is think about your foot as being made up of four different parts. So two parts of the ball and two parts of the heel and press into all four parts of your foot instead of just trying to balance on the heel or the toe. Good. In five, we're gonna meet with that right knee into the chest. We have four, three, two, pull the right knee in, hold it. You can keep your hands behind your head or you can take them down to your hips, airplane arms, whatever you need to do for stability. Kick that leg straight, pull it out to the right, back in through center, knee into the chest, little pulses up. Up, up, keep growing taller. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Heart rate boost. Last thing we're doing here, and then we have core, then we have stretch. So we're done, really hard exercise. We just got a last little spike of our heart rate for the day. We'll take a sip of water after. are going heart rates are going up we're moving fast because we know we get a break after this try and keep those arms straight on that punch jab jab yes nice Kaden. go jessica yay diane i like the arms good work everyone john gabe chris steve i can't see you we have five four 
three, two, step it wide, squat and reach. Down, up, down, up. Last hands on the day to get your jumps in if you need them. Arms are straight. Blitz are back. Down, up, down, and up. Last 10 seconds. Yes, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Right hand behind the head. Kick, kick, kick. We're only doing 15 seconds per side. Up, up, up. Keep that arm stable. Don't let it move. There we go. We're going to switch sides in four, three, two. Left hand behind the head. Kick, 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 and kick. You can add a spring in your step if you want. Yes. Last five, four, three, two. Rest. Water all around. Grab it. Let's have a toast. Cheers. We did it. Anyone who has questions, comments, notes, you can shout it out now, put it in the chat. After this, we're gonna do some core and then I'll send you guys on your way. Okay. Um, just a question for everyone here. I do have some idea of kind of who you are and what you're working on based on what Steve has told me. But if anyone wants to throw a message into the chat or just message me privately about any of your goals or anything you wanna work on in particular, like what brings you here to do these workouts, feel free to shoot me a note. So that way I can keep that in mind as we plan them out. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. So, core time, on your back. Move that water. All right, so we have a hollow body hold variation. So I come into my hollow body hold. The only thing that really matters here is that every single vertebrae of my spine is pressed onto the floor. None of this arching stuff. Imagine you have a hundred dollar bill underneath your back. If I were to come around and try and grab it, you would not let me. Now, once we're here, we go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. If it hurts the neck, take your hands behind your head or drop your head, okay? 30 seconds of that. Then we're gonna come into a 30 second side plank reach. So I'm in a side plank and I just reach my top arm up and over. Oh, no, no, up and down. Totally fine to do this on your knees. We're going to do the right side, then we're going to do the left side. Okay? So first up, <laughs> just all find a nice hollow body hold position. So, feet forward, arms back. Make sure your back is down. Try and pull your arms alongside your ears and let's work into it. Out, out, in, in, out, out. And I'm looking at the screen to see you guys. I want you to stare in towards your belly button. Keep the back of your neck long so that you're not crunching your neck. And keep pulling your belly button into your spine to keep your back down. We have 10 more seconds. Keep those arms active. Keep those legs active. In five, we're going to pull the knees into the chest and give ourselves a big old hug for our good work. We have four, three, two. Knees into the chest, rock side to side. Nice job. All right. Roll on over to one side. Doesn't matter which one because we're doing both. Come on to your form. Check to make sure that elbow is under each shoulder. And you can either stay on your knees or you can come all the way up into a full side plank. So everybody up. Now let's add the extra work. Big stretch up and over and down. Big stretch up and over and down. If you need more of a challenge, as you reach up, bring your leg to your arm and release. Bring it up and release. We have 10 more seconds. Woo, hips up wherever you are. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Switch sides. Make your way over onto the other arm. Last work for the day, 30 seconds. Check your elbow. Under shoulder, no pitching out. Hips up, either this or this. We're gonna start with the arm reach, then we can add the leg. We are going. Now, if you need to add the leg today, do it. It's the same thing essentially as our oblique kick. We're just kind of on our forearms. Hips up, last 10. Good, we have five. 
four, three, two, and one. Everyone drop your hips down. Now find your right ankle and take it over your left knee. Figure four stretch on your back. And if you want, you can reach through your legs, thread the needle, and give yourself a rock side to side, opening up the right hip. And sometimes in a stretch, I like to go a little bit deeper, finding my right hand and gently pressing the right knee away from me. As long as the back of your head and your shoulders are on the floor, we're in a good spot. All right, let's switch legs. Left ankle over right knee, reach through the legs, thread the needle, give yourself a rock side to side. The option to take left hand to left knee, gently encourage, not forcing that hip open. And then go ahead and unhook that ankle. Did a lot of good spinal work today, so let's gently take a spinal twist. Guide both knees over to the right. Now, you might notice that there's some space between the floor and your knees, and that's totally fine. I want you just to do your best to relax your shoulders onto the floor. Doesn't matter where our knees land. And for some, there might be a lot more space than others. That's why it's especially important that we open up our spine. Go ahead and bring the knees back to center, drop them over to the left. Using this time to let our breathing slow down. Instead of thinking about what we've done or what we have to do next, see if you can take two big breaths here, just focusing on that feeling of air entering and leaving your nose. And then when you're ready, bring your knees back through center. Either roll over onto one side or rock and roll up to sit. We're gonna come on up, wide legs, take a big old stretch. You can bend your knees if it's uncomfortable to be here. Root your fingertips into the floor, the mat. Take a big breath in, lift your chest up. As you exhale, walking it forward, our last stretch of the day, we are gonna take five of those nice big old slow breaths here. With each exhale, see if you can fold a little bit deeper. And notice where you're holding tension in your body and see if you can let some of that go. Giving ourselves just this one part of our day to just do nothing but believe. And stretch. One more big breath. And then slowly, one word away at a time, roll up to sit. Head stacked on top of spine. Bring your hands together. Give yourself a round of applause. Good job, everybody. Great to see everyone. And uh, we'll be here same time tomorrow. I'll let Steve and John take it from here. Thank you all. And uh, if there's any, not any questions, we'll just uh, call it for tomorrow, until tomorrow. Any questions? Okay. Make sure you stretch. Yes. Good job, Lily. Good, good job, job, everyone. Thanks a lot, Laurel. Have a good Bye. one. Thank you, Laurel. Bye. Bye, Gator. Bye, guys. <laughs>